Um, it's Alex. I'm, I'm back with a video. Just a quick first impressions on this keyboard. I'd like to start this video off by saying this is the sixth attempt to record this. I've been up since 2 a.m. I'm extremely tired, but I wanted to get this out. So here we are. Um, let's just, let's just try and get through this. Okay. So I, uh, I recently had to make a decision with my office supplies on my setup because I was dealing with an issue where I work two jobs and I work on two different computers. And um, because of that, I had to have two sets of devices, keyboard, mice. And my desk was just was just so cluttered. I, I hated the way it looked. Um, wasn't a fan of that, of, of having all these things on my desk. So uh, if you watched my last video, I talked about impulse buying. You may have you know remembered that I had a uh, Corsair keyboard and a Logitech wireless mouse uh, with a wireless mouse charging pad, which was just like super overkill for what anybody needed. So the good folks over at Best Buy uh, let me utilize my Geek Squad protection to bring those devices back and pick up two new ones. So now I have a new keyboard in the Logitech G915 TKL, which I have so far been super happy with. I'm, I'm a big fan of this board. And now I have a new mouse in the Logitech G604, which if you want to see a review on that, let me know. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, the reason I got this particular keyboard and that particular mouse is that both of them support Logitech's light speed technology, which is their unifying wireless receiver that is, from what I can tell, has no perceivable latency to it. I, I can't see a difference. Uh, but they also offer Bluetooth. And because of that, the devices can easily flip between what computer I'm connected to. So now I can switch between computers really simply, one workflow. Um, it looks a lot nicer on my desk. There's no cables, there's no clutter. It's just so much cleaner and more minimal. And that's kind of what I wanted. Now, why this board in particular? Well, a couple things stood out to me with this particular wireless keyboard and it was first and foremost, the build quality. So this board is a minimalistic 10 keyless low profile board so it's very slim frame even slimmer keycaps so the way it looks was a big part of it but on top of that it also has mechanical switches so logitech sells this board in three different switch flavors so you've got the one i have which is their tactile switch they also have a clicky switch and a linear switch all of those are kind of like like this is sort of supposed to be Cherry MX Browns, I believe. Then they have the Cherry MX Blues and then um, whatever the linear one is. I don't know. Um, and this one is pretty good. Coming from my Corsair keyboard, which was Cherry MX Browns, this feels very similar. This one's got a little bit more audible click to it. I'm going to try to include a demonstration of those sounds right here. But aside from that, yeah, I really like how this board feels, how it types. Um, the look of it is fantastic. A couple complaints that I did have. Um, one, the volume wheel on the side here is, is very linear. There's no tactile feedback whatsoever. So you just kind of feel like a smooth scroll the entire time. It'd be nice if there was a little bit of tactility to it when you scroll. So you kind of know what volume steps you're at with it. But it's a small complaint, nothing big. Um, the media keys up at the top are rubber. Some people said that that makes the board feel cheap. I don't really feel that way about it personally, but I can see how some people might. So if if you hate that kind of style, I mean, it is what it is. I didn't really care too much. The thing that I do really find annoying, and it's only because it's 2020 and just companies are, are slowly, slowly integrating it. 
Logitech did not do it on this board. This board came out about a year, maybe a year and a half ago now, but this one is still using micro USB-C or this board is still using micro USB and not USB-C. I know Logitech, you released this board a while back, but it would be really cool if you could update this to have USB-C, even razors, including USB-C on some of their um, small form factor keyboards. So uh, that would be my one big gripe is just the connectivity. That micro USB port, I hate. I don't have really that many devices that use micro USB anymore. So it'd be nice to have just one cable for everything I have on my desk. That would be fantastic. Moving on to um, the more gamery focused stuff, and you've got the RGB lighting and the profiles. So Logitech's G Hub software from coming from like Razer Synapse and Corsair IQ, I personally really like. I think the UI is super, super minimal, super clean, straightforward. Um, the profile switching works really well. They have a lot of games that are already built in a G Hub if you have supported titles in your computer. So you can just straight away from G Hub set up what key bindings you want from G Hub software rather than having to go into the game settings and set all that up. So I think that's really, really cool. The RGB lighting has every key is individually lit, so you can set up pretty much whatever style you want to your heart's content. You can set up tons of different profiles. It does have onboard memory too for certain lighting profiles. So like for example, I have a lighting profile set up for my work keyboard or for my work laptop that lets me know like just by switching, I can tell right away what keyboard I'm already using, what device I'm connected to just by the lighting effects. So you can go pretty hog wild with what type of lighting you want and there's really no end to it. The one thing too that I noticed is that it's not anywhere in the user manual, which Logitech, that's another bump on you that you got to give a little bit more instructions with how this stuff works because I had to search for it. And I find, I figure I'm a pretty tech literate person. This was a little complicated, but Logitech's keyboard, um, the Efro keys have three memory profiles you can switch between that change what functionality those Efro keys are assigned to depending on how you set it up. So within a profile, you can basically have three additional profiles within there for like different key bindings, macros, whatever you might need. But then on top of that, their keyboard and mice also supports their G shift feature, which is a another separate profile that is only activated as long as you're holding down whatever key you've assigned for your G shift function. So on my mouse, it could be one of the side buttons. And as long as I'm holding that down, the buttons are temporarily changed to whatever I need it to be for that time being. So um, I personally have smooth brain and couldn't think of really clever ways to implement that. So if you've got ideas for me, please let me know because I would love to hear um, what your ideas are, what your thoughts are on how to utilize that because I want to try to get the most for my, you know, most for my money out of this board. Now, next, uh, next thing that I probably would say because a lot of people are going to ask me, well, do you recommend this board for everybody? Truthfully, I can't say I do. Uh, 230 bucks is a lot to spend for a keyboard, especially when you can get wireless keyboards for cheaper than that, like even under 100 bucks, and they'll be fine for what you need it to do. I think if you were in the market for a board like this that's got mechanical switches, backlighting, and all that good stuff, you're not going to be disappointed. You're not going to you're not going to feel like you got ripped off if you were willing to spend this money anyways on the keyboard. I just think that if you are hesitant to, you shouldn't feel like you're missing out on this. This is a fantastic board, but it is not it is not something that everybody needs it, by any means. You could spend your money on your computer first and then this if you have extra left over burning a hole in your pocket, but don't feel like you need to put yourself out to get this kind of board by any means. All in all, guys, I'd say personally, I'm really happy with this board. Um it's it's made my workflow a lot easier. Everything's a lot easier to navigate. My desk looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. But again, it's not something I feel that everybody needs to have. It's just one of those things where, hey, if you can afford it and you've got nothing else to spend your money on that you'd rather have and you want to get this, you'll probably like it. I don't think you're going to have a lot of complaints. So um, gets a recommendation for me on the caveat of, only get it if you really, really want to spend this kind of money because it's not necessary. That's going to be it for my initial first impressions and quick little review of this. Um, if if you want to know more about it, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or you can talk to me in the comments and I'll, I'll try and answer whatever questions you had. I, 
I was going to do a full review, but this being such an older board, I mean, there's a lot more in-depth reviews um, from a lot of other more detailed commenters. Uh, this is just kind of my first impressions on it. So if you like that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, consider subscribing. I'm, I've got more stuff coming in soon. Uh, one thing that I've thought about doing was a little review on that new mouse because that's, again, a little bit older mouse, but some people might want to know more about it. If you want to see that, let me know. Also, really quick note, you'll notice this office chair that I'm sitting in uh, is kind of kind of beat up and tattered. This isn't my chair. This is my roommate's. My chair is actually behind the camera. I'm keeping it out of frame because the company that makes the chair I've been working with for three months to try to get it fixed. Um, so I'm trying to be fair to them because I know COVID's been tough. But I have another chair from another company coming in this week that I plan on doing an unboxing for. And if I like that chair more, I'm probably going to make a video about it and explain why I think this one is better than the one behind the camera. So to the company that makes that chair, come here. You're on a very short leash. So get it together, okay? Because my back hurts. This chair is too small for me. The weight capacity... I'm like super heavy guys. COVID's been tough. I'm like 280 pounds right now. I don't eat well at all. So I really just need a break. So um, if you could just sponsor me and give me a chair for free, that would be really nice. But uh, that's it. Okay. Anyways, guys, um, one last thing, one very, very last thing, but not at all the thing that I feel, I don't know where I'm going with that. I want to give a really, 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 really big shout out to my Patreon members. Um, I never once thought that I would have all these people subscribe to me, let alone people who are willing to help me out financially to make this channel better and do more creative things. So thank you to all of you who joined my Patreon. Um, you will forever hold a special place in my heart. Uh, I know that sounds corny as shit, but it is 100% true. You guys seriously mean the world to me. So thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm going to put all your names up right here. Shout out to every single one of these people. You guys are just amazing. So if you are on Patreon now, if you are considering joining my Patreon, which by the way, you don't feel obligated, please like don't put yourself out if you can't. But if you do talk to me on there, reach out to me, let me know what you want to see more of. I'll, I'm always looking for ideas and suggestions. So um, I, I love talking to all of you. You guys are such a, uh, an active community, which brings me to my next point. Um, if you are wanting to talk to me more on my second channel over at the Buddy System, we have a free Discord that you can join that we only ask that you subscribe to first. So if you subscribe to the channel, join our Discord, come talk to us. But otherwise, it is free, so you don't have to subscribe. It's just one of those things, like, it'd be cool if people did. Um, and then I am working on setting up a Discord for my Patreon members. Uh, it's just been kind of a long week, so hopefully we'll get more of that soon. But, yeah, guys, that's that's going to be it. This was, like, the sixth or seventh time recording this. I'm super tired. I'm really hoping this one worked. So if you're seeing it now, this was the one that worked. I'm going to go try and take a nap and catch up on some sleep. But we will see you soon. Thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.